Okay. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to rush right along with our next act. I'm super excited about this act. Uh, he's very, very new, um, but he's been making us laugh a lot backstage. I think you're really going to love him. So give him a huge warm welcome, a massive round of applause. Give it up for Frankie the Anonymous Pigeon. <laughs> I blame the taxi driver. <laughs> so anyway, is everybody enjoying the Fringe so far? Yes! So when my dad told me I was going to the Fringe, I said, that's a long way for a haircut. <laughs> anyway, so I love foreign food, but when, when I went to France for a school trip, um, when I went to France for a school trip, so all the teachers started saying, like, who wants a crepe? So I said, Miss, we just went to the toilet. Come on, come on. <laughs> so for my sister's birthday, my parents got her a, uh, uh, a new pet, a surprise pet. But I think I ruined it because I let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> and then when she did get the, the cat, it died of getting cuddled too much. It, it, uh, well, the vet said it was a severe stroke. <laughs> so, um, I, 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 sort, I sort of lied about that, because um, my mum says I'm allergic to cats, but I keep on telling her I'm never going to eat one. <laughs> my, my grandma uh, used to have a pet penguin, um, and so she ate it, which is a bit of a shame, but she did love her a chocolate biscuits. <laughs> um, my grandma, she's very deaf, and um, sometimes she has to do lip reading, and so, uh, but it's quite hard to write on my mouth. <laughs> so, uh, she, uh, what, one, time, one time I asked her what happiness was, well, she must know, because she's like over a hundred, but, um, so when I asked her, she says, well, first, it feels warm inside. It's the most delicious feeling. And then your tongue goes on fire. <laughs> so I said, Grandma, why when you're happy, your tongue would go on fire? <laughs> oh, oh, she said. Oh, I thought you said when you're eating a curry. <laughs> so um, once my friend asked me for the time, and I looked at my chocolate watch and it said after eight. Oh. <laughs> but, but once my, uh, well, my dad used to work in a magnet factory, but it didn't work out, uh, it didn't work out too well because he couldn't make ends meet. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I love Edinburgh, it's a great place. Uh, yeah, if you're from Edinburgh. Yay! Yay! Yay. So yeah, um, I love the place, but um, sometimes I get confused with the toilets because um, who am I to say that this isn't a man wearing a kilt? <laughs> Yeah, uh, some people say I've got my mum's eyes, but um, if she, if I've got her eyes, then how does she see? <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed my material. Um, yeah, so uh, a lot, I hate it when a lot of uh, a lot of comedians steal each other's material because um, you know it's horrible. But I say that I'm being a bit of a hypocrite because I did steal some wool from uh, Jimmy Carr and some leather, you know. <laughs> How I do. <laughs> uh, I've been the anonymous pigeon. Have a have a good day. <laughs> He's going to be really famous. That was amazing. Give it up one more time for Frankie. Well, I should point out that being famous isn't necessarily good and no one should aspire to it. It's much better to get a degree and actually do something to help people. <laughs>